Welcome back to Convergence Today. This is part three in our series on the explosion of internet video with our guest Scott Williford. Um, Scott, when we left off, we were, we were just beginning to talk about the future of, of video on the internet and kind of where we are today and where the industry's going. Yeah, I, I think the industry has nothing but growth in front mm -hmm. of it. I mean, video is just continually I mean, every day you turn around, you're seeing more and more people put, put videos online and, and professional quality videos. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think where we are right now is we're still very much on an early adopters kind of timeline. I think that companies are going to really begin to learn how to leverage and use the medium. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, I heard somebody say, a marketing uh, professional say that we're at the same spot today with video marketing where we were 10 years ago with email marketing. Okay. And now everybody has an email newsletter. Mm -hmm. And so he said that, that things are going to even accelerate even faster when it comes to video. So I really do believe we're at the beginning and I think that uh, the sky's the limit. I think people are getting more and more creative on how they're leveraging the medium and how they're using it as a way to converge their message and keep it consistent with mm -hmm. what they're doing. Well I think too the first generation of internet video was kind of low quality, you know, uh, the wasn't shot in HD, it certainly wasn't streamed in HD. Mm -hmm. um, so as we see more bandwidth and, and more and more you know, inexpensive technology, it seems to me that's gonna drive the quality as well and that, that may speed up the adoption too. A absolutely, if, if you think about um, taking a homemade camera or ho homemade video or a flip cam video and using it at a law practice, mm -hmm. well, a $500 an hour lawyer is not gonna use that. Mm -hmm. But now that the bandwidth exists, the, the the technology exists to play it on all different types of device, devices and it'll all be great quality. I mean, now you're going to see more and more name brands using online video as part of their marketing mix and as part of their communication tool, not just for marketing purposes, but as we talked earlier about internal communications and just brand recognition. Yeah, it seems that almost any communications that you need to send out to a, uh, an audience, whether it's an internal or external audience, you know, companies really are turning more and more to video. and, and and with this accelerating, it just seems like the, the, the sky's the limit, really. And, and um, with the kind of final evolution of the cloud, um, even though it's been around for, mm -hmm. for decades uh, in, in, by other names, um, that's really the enabling technology, isn't it? I think, I think the cloud is a big part of it. I mentioned earlier that you know, YouTube occupies half yep. of heaven. Uh, I do think that uh, the cloud is part of it. I think the last mile. Uh, high bandwidth, 4G mm -hmm. on mobile devices, giving you high bandwidth to mobile devices. All of this stuff adds up. Um, the internet is the new TV, yep. and everybody can have their own channel, as I said earlier. So I think that that's the key. I think that where we go, uh, you're going to start to see more and more innovation mm -hmm. as a result of it. Can you imagine trying to describe a microcellular level dis you know, experiment without pictures or video? Yeah and how much faster that technology will get repeated because of video. Mm. Or, you know, the, the, the TED talk I mentioned in a couple segments ago about, uh, they, they talked about innovation and video driving innovation. And they showed an example of a six-year-old kid doing a, a dance moves that were just never seen before anywhere. And yet that child had never taken a dance lesson. Mm. What he had done is he had watched YouTube videos <laughs> of different people from different parts of the world, world and put them all together, made his own innovative dance style. And he had examples of unicyclists and dancing and science. And I mean, it was just amazing how fast this stuff was. Yeah, and in, a, in this global uh, economy we live in, in this, this really connected world, you know, if you if he had written the instructions for the dance, number one, you wouldn't have been able to learn it. Number two, you would only be able to learn it if you read that language. And with That's video, right. um, there's even language barriers that can be uh, can be be torn down as well. That's right. That's right. Well, and, and a couple of technology things that are happening. Uh, video is is the quality of video is increasing. We're seeing translation services. We're seeing subtitling services, and it's just, it's amazing the where, where things are going. And again, as I said earlier, I think it's not anywhere close to, it's just starting up the curve. Yep. So. Well, it's an exciting time, and it's, it's, all of this leads up to the reasons why I created this show, to, uh, to leverage all of that power, to leverage all of that exposure really across the world to, mm -hmm. uh, to, to continue this dialogue on the subject of convergence. So um, thank you very much for being a, a guest on our first show. Um, it's been a pleasure. It's been fun being here. 
To participate in our conversation, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and join our LinkedIn group. If you'd like to be a guest or sponsor of the program, or wish to speak further with our host or guests, please contact us at info at wausau.net.